Welcome back. The ongoing threat of, of the Chinese Communist Party. Federal prosecutors report an MIT professor failed to disclose his extensive ties to the Chinese government in grant applications to the Department of Energy. This professor is in question is denying the allegations, and the school says it is deeply disturbed. Joining me right now, the Daily Wire editor is Ian Haw Hayworth. Ian, it's great to have you this morning. Thanks very much for joining us. And then this is just one of a string of indictments we've seen over the last year where you've seen academics uh, get indicted for failing to disclose that they are actually being paid by the CCP because the Chinese Communist Party uh, is uh, getting them in one way or another uh, to transfer important proprietary data to the Chinese Communist Party, more of their intellectual property theft. Your reaction to this and whether or not we're going to see a change to the very tough stance that Donald Trump uh, Donald Trump took on China. Yeah, I mean, firstly, I think it's important to understand this isn't just a problem in academia. I published um, a story in December on the Daily Wire, and the Daily Wire are actually one of the few American outlets to cover this, which I think says all you need to know. And the, the CCP have uh, people basically in organizations all over the world, whether it be governments, banking, um, defense contractors. So this is far um, broader than just an, like a problem in academia. But in terms of academia, through the, um, the Thousand Talents Plan, uh, China have had really quite dodgy interactions with um, institutions over qu quite a few years. I mean, in uh, 2020, early 2020, the FBI arrested someone. This is a constant problem. In terms of whether I see it ha and changing under Biden, I think Biden is going to take a much weaker approach, basically because he's been wrong on foreign policy for his entire career. And so I don't see him suddenly changing his mind. Yeah. He's also flip-flopped multiple times on China. He said they're both a threat and not a threat. And so I think China will just wait, wait for Trump to be out of the door, and then they'll just keep going. I don't see any real incentive for them to change. Yeah, and, and Ian, you should know that this has been one of our key stories that we cover on this program mm -hmm. and on Sunday Morning Futures now for four years, the threat of the Chinese Communist Party. So you're right, the mainstream media is not covering this threat. They continue to cover Russia and the failed attempt at taking Donald Trump down for colluding with Russia. And instead, they have missed the true threat that is the Chinese Communist Party, as the CCP has made it very clear that they want to become the number one superpower in the world, overtake. America. Mm -hmm. Now, the Trump administration is moving to declassify its plan to contain China's influence. This outline includes working with India to take on China, denying Chinese military influence in Taiwan, negotiating total denuclearization of North Korea. The U.S. is also acting under the assumption that China aims to dissolve American alliances in the Indo-Pacific region. So these goals are obviously continuing a tough stance on China in during the coronavirus, the Chinese Communist Party used that uh, to, uh, while the world was focusing on keeping its, its people safe and, and, and not sick, China invaded India, killing 20 soldiers, militarized the South China Sea, and continued to steal intellectual property, not to mention putting a million people in, in concentration camps, the Uyghurs, in re-education uh, you know, re camps is what they call it. So what kind of a policy would you expect from the Biden administration, which is why, by the way, we focused on Hunter Biden and its, his ties mm -hmm. to Chinese companies that were tied to the CCP.